And starting out in a comfortable cross-legged position. Your thumb and index finger can touch with your palms facing up towards the ceiling. And let's start with a couple of deeper breaths into the lungs, connecting to our yogic breath or ujjayi breathing, slightly contracting the throat and creating this smooth and steady breath. Allow yourself to arrive into the here and now. Bring your attention into this very moment. And you can then place your hands in front of the heart space. Tilt your head slightly forward into the heart as you set an intention here, if you'd like, for the practice. And then with your next inhale, sweep your arms to the side and up. With an exhalation, twist over the right knee. Taking a couple of breaths here into this easy twist. The other hand just resting to the ground behind you, either fingertips or palm. And last steady deep breath in. Exhale out. And with your next inhale, sweep those arms back up overhead. With an exhale, rotating towards the other side. And a couple of deep breaths here, making sure that we're still connecting to our victorious breath, the ujjayi breathing. Feel the belly rising and falling. Last breath here. And with your next inhalation, sweep those arms back up overhead. With an exhale, lower your hands in front of the heart space. From here, lower the arms along, say the body, maybe the fingers touching the ground, and tilt your head towards the right shoulder. Just welcoming this nice opening for the neck. Guide a few deep breaths into that space. And then bring your head forward through center. Come over to the other side. And same thing here, just a couple of deep breaths as we tilt our head over the left shoulder. Last ujjayi breath here. And then come forward through center. And then we will draw our feet forward and root them into the ground. See if you can grab a hold of those knees. And with your inhale, you're going to lift the chest up, tilt the head back. With an exhalation, extend the arms and round your spine. Inhale, draw the chest forward and lift your chest up. Exhale, straighten out those arms and lean back. Inhale, pull the chest forward, tilt your head back. And with your exhalation again, just extend those arms as you round the spine. Inhale, come to a neutral position. Exhale, shift over onto your hands and knees. And with your next inhale, drop the belly down, tuck the toes in as we lift the hard cow pose. Exhale, top of the feet comes down and round your spine. Inhale, tuck those toes to go a little deeper. Lift the chest, drop the belly. Exhale, press a little bit into those hands as you round the spine. Inhale, again, tuck the toes, lift the heart and the tailbone. And then exhale, sit back into a child's position. Draw those arms back to the low back. See if you can Grab a hold of one wrist, allowing your wrist, your underarms to just drop like weights towards low back. Breathing down to your wrists. And then interlace your fingers now together and extend your fist up. Now, you might not lift your arms very high from your low back, that's okay. Some of you might be able to extend those arms straight up 
towards the ceiling. Just see what feels right for you. Inviting that nice opening for the heart. And then gently lower the arms back down. Let go of your fingers and just allow your arms to relax alongside your body. Now extending those arms forward, rooting your palms down and looking towards the front of your mat. Lift up with an exhalation, rounding the spine. Then inhale, lengthen forward to the crown and with an exhale, lower down onto the belly. Point those toes here and with an inhalation, lift the heart, roll the shoulders back, cobra. Exhale, lower. Inhale again, lifting up, cobra position. Exhale, release and lower. Last time, inhaling. Then with an exhalation, lower. See if you can relax those arms alongside the body now and turn to the right cheek. Let the shoulders, let the arms, everything just dropping down. The hips nice and heavy. Breathing into the belly. Just observe the rhythm of your breath. Then turn your head back to center and now we will roll the chest open. Extend those arms back and lift the legs for a bow pose. So preferably keeping the knees up and away from the ground here. Really activating your back in order for you to create that lift. And with your next exhalation, you can turn to the left cheek now and lower all the way down to the ground. Again, just allow the body to really drop here, soften and relax. And then bring your hands behind the back again, interlace your fingers and lift the chest up and away from the ground, lift those legs. So in this bow pose, we open up the heart a little more. You can lift your hands slightly away from the buttocks if you wanna go deeper. And you wanna keep breathing nice and deep. So your body might naturally rock here a little bit up and down as you breathe into the belly. Let go of the hands now and bring them underneath the forehead. Relax your head down. Then bend those legs and do a couple of reversed windshield wipers. So just sway your feet a little bit from side to side, creating a soft rotation into the hips, low back. And then we lower the legs, tuck the toes in, bring the hands underneath the shoulders and press yourself all the way up and back into a downward facing dog. Now, from downward dog, just walk it out a little bit, pedal out those feet, bending into one leg at a time. Mm, great. And then from here, you can slowly walk forward to the top of your mat. And now as we arrive here, let's inhale, lengthen halfway up, hands to the shins. Exhale, folding forward, drop the crown of the head. Inhale, rising up to a standing position, arms up overhead. And with your exhalation, lower those hands in front of the heart space. Inhale, sweep the arms to the side and up. Exhale, folding forward and down. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to the shins. And then exhale, just folding forward, drop the crown of the head down. Inhale, rise back up to standing, reach and lengthen through those arms. Exhale, hands in front of the heart space. Good, and then inhale, sweep those arms back up. Exhale, folding forward and down. And then breathing in, halfway lift, maybe the fingers to the ground. With an exhalation, step back into a plank position. Inhale, hold. Exhale, lower the knees and then the upper body. Point and lengthen back through those legs and then inhale, rise up. 
cobra or upper dog with your exhalation come back into a downward facing dog and great a couple of breaths here just settling into your downward dog maybe micro bending those knees if that feels good for you stay with the ujjayi breath good and then looking forward with an inhale exhale step to the front of your mat inhale rise halfway up exhale fold forward inhale sweep those arms to the side and up and then exhale hands in front of the heart space mountain pose inhale circle those arms all the way back up exhale folding forward and down breathing in halfway lift lengthen through the spine exhale step back coming into a plank pose inhale hold exhale lower chaturanga you can come all the way to the ground and then inhale rise up upward facing dog or stick with cobra if you'd like exhale come back to downward facing dog again settle in here hold Feel that beautiful upward motion all the way from your hands, along the arms, along the spine, up to the tailbone. And then with an inhalation, look to the front. Exhale, hopping to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep those arms to the side and up. Slightly bend those knees on the way up. Exhale, lower the hands in front of the heart. Now bringing your hands to the waist and lifting the left leg up from the ground. So we will keep the right foot down, left leg at a 90 degree bend. Now find the balance and then start to slightly bend the right leg as you send that left foot back. See if you can flex your foot pressed into the heel and come into warrior three for a moment. Then lower the left foot all the way down, rooting the heel into the ground. Float the arms up, warrior one. And you can look up towards those hands, keeping a nice bent into the right leg with your hips facing to the front of your mat. Breathe here nice and deep. And now with your next inhale, you're going to extend the right leg, come all the way up. Exhale, lower those arms down and interlace your fingers behind the back. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale and folding forward over the right leg. Moving those arms away from you. Once more, creating that nice opening around the chest. Try to keep your hips in center here. Notice if you're turning your hips out to the side, especially towards the right. So hug the right leg in. Now release those hands slowly down. Lift halfway up, supporting yourself on your fingers. And then float the right arm up for revolved triangle pose. Now, if you need a block here underneath the left hand, that might be a good idea. You could also just keep your palm rooting down if you can reach that. Lower both hands, bend into the right leg, and then send that right leg up and back. Inhale. Exhale, lower down from three-legged dog to Chaturanga. Inhale, rise up, upward facing dog exhale come back into downward facing dog and from down dog look forward jumping or stepping to the front inhale halfway lift exhale fold inhale sweep those arms to the side and up and then exhale hands right in front of heart now bring your hands to the waist and lift the right leg up starting at a 90 degree bend 
and then gently bend the standing leg and start to extend the right leg back, pressing into the heel, reaching the crown of that forward. Find the balance here for a moment. Then bend a little bit deeper into the left leg and gently place the right foot down. Root your heel into the ground and float those arms up, warrior one. Gazing up towards the ceiling or the sky. Driving your hips forward. And then with your next inhalation, we're going to extend the left leg completely. With an exhale, lower those hands down, interlace your fingers. And then inhale, lift the heart, look up. With your exhalation, fold over the left leg. Again, draw your left hip in a little bit, so making sure that your hips are centered. And then drive your hands away from the back to a point that feels good for you. Enjoying this heart opening position, the opening along the back of the left leg. Now lower your hands down. Root the right hand along the inside of the left foot and float the left arm up. Again, if this feels too low, simply take a block underneath the right hand. And you can look up towards the left hand. And then gently release both hands down, bend into the left leg. As you press into your hands, send that left leg up and back, three-legged dog. And then with your next exhalation, keep that leg lifted as you lower in Chaturanga. Inhale, rise up, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. And take a moment here in downward dog. One more deep breath in. And with your next exhale, look forward. Step or hop to the front. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep those arms to the side and up. And then exhale, hands in front of the heart space. And from here, we're going to bend into those legs, sweep the arms back and up, chair pose. Now, when you are in chair position, tuck the tailbone under slightly so we keep the back nice and straight. And take another deep breath in here, looking up. With your exhalation, folding forward over those legs. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, step or hop back, Chaturanga. Inhale, rise up, upward facing dog. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. Lift the right leg up, inhale. And exhale, draw your knee towards the right elbow. Inhale, extend your leg up and back. Exhale, draw the knee towards the left elbow. Inhale, extend up and back. Exhale, draw the knee towards center, hold. And then gently place that right knee below the right wrist. Coming into our pigeon pose, you're welcome to take a prop under the hip if needed. Root the fingers down, inhale, lift the heart up, lengthen your spine. And with your exhalation, gently release and fold forward. Feel free to drop onto the forearms, maybe the forehead comes down. You want to keep your hips nice and leveled here as well. Notice if you are rolling over to the right side and lifting that left hip up. Maybe a little cushion or a folded blanket can be nice underneath the hip in that case. Now taking our final breath here before placing your hands back under the shoulders and pressing yourself up. Now we're gonna go for a little bind here. So root the right hand down, maybe staying on the fingertips, circle the left arm back, and bending into the left leg and grab a hold along the inside of the foot. Now you could stay there just holding onto the foot or going for a mermaid pose, circling that right arm back, interlacing the fingers. If you go for a mermaid, then look forward, try to keep the heart nice and lifted. One last deep breath in. 
And with your exhale release, circle those arms down. Roll over to the right side and bring that left leg all the way through, crossing the left foot over the right knee. So we're coming into a twist, bringing the left hand behind us, float the right arm up, inhale. Exhale, cross the elbow to the outside of the knee, gently pressing into the outer left leg as we turn the heart nice and open, looking past the left shoulder. Check in with your breathing here so we're still breathing nice and deep, getting those detoxifying effects into our practice. One more inhale here. Exhale, look forward, arms to the side, and then just lean back, extending those legs in front of you. Grab a hold underneath your knees, and let's lift up into our boat pose. If you'd like, you can extend the legs. And taking our final breath here, lifting through the heart. And then from here, gently bending those legs, crossing over the ankles, and rock yourself through. Either step or hop back here for your low plank, Shataranga. Inhale, lift up, upper dog. Exhale, shift back, downward facing dog. Great, now from here, lift the left leg up high, inhale. Exhale, draw your knee to the left elbow. Inhale, extend your leg up and back. Exhale, draw the knee towards the right. Inhale, up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, draw the knee forward to center, hold. And then place your left knee gently down, just below the wrist. Align yourself here for a pigeon pose, maybe a prop. Root the fingers down and then inhale, open up through the heart. Lengthen your spine. Exhale, release and fold forward. And dropping those arms down, maybe also the head. And just relax here, sinking into those hips, trying to keep them leveled, relaxing your forehead. Feel free to close your eyes for a moment. And taking our final breath. And then bringing those hands back under the shoulders and come up. Root the left hand down to the side of the body. Circle the right arm back. Bending into the right leg. Either stay here just holding on to the foot. Or guide your foot to the crease of the arm. Reaching up through the fingers. And then release that left arm back. Create a little bind to come into mermaid pose. Look to the front, lift through the heart, and up through the crown of the head. And one more deep breath here in mermaid pose. Super nice. And then gently release those arms down. And we're just going to roll over to the left hip and draw the right leg forward. Cross your foot directly over the left. Bringing the right hand behind you, float the left arm up, inhale. Exhale, hook the elbow to the outside of the knee. Again, you can gently press into the outer knee using your arm. Rotate your chest open. Keep the breath nice and deep. Steady ujjayi breathing. All the way through the practice. Let's look forward, take the arms to the side, and then we will once more root the sit bones down, this time taking our hands underneath the shoulders and lifting ourselves up to a tabletop position. If you have your hips in line with your knees, you can drop your head back as I'm doing. If your hips are lower than the knees, then keep your chin tucked in. Take one more deep breath here. Exhale and lower the hips down. 
Step your feet a little bit forward, wrap those arms around the legs and just let your head drop forward. Breathe into the back of the body, just allowing everything to broaden, to expand. And then we're gonna lift back up, hands underneath the shoulders, fingers turned in. Either repeat the same variation or extend your legs here reach firmly forward through the toes and lift your hips up coming into our revolved plank pose try to reach forward through the toes as much as you can maybe the soles of the feet come down gently lower your hips scoop your hips a little bit forward and let's grab a hold of the big toes using our index finger and middle finger Gently roll along the spine down and coming in directly to our happy baby. And here, once you're down to the ground, just sway a little bit from side to side. Make sure that the low back is rooted. Just relax here. And then from here, let go of the feet, lower them to the ground. And now take your left leg and cross it over the right, maybe tucking the toes under the calf as well. And then coming into a rotation, dropping your knees towards the right. The right hand can grab a hold along the outer track of the left leg, the left arm extending away from the body. The head turning slightly towards the left. And just try to relax and drop into that left shoulder. And then slowly come back to center, unhook the legs. And now take the right leg, cross it over the left, make the same variation here. Lower your knees towards the left, extending through the right arm. Again, drop into the right shoulder, taking a few breaths here into your final twist. And then from here, we will slowly make our way back to center and drop those feet down. And you can bring them a little wider apart and do a couple of windshield wipers. Just slowly bringing those knees from right to left, rolling along the inner and outer edges of your feet. And then we will slowly extend our legs, coming into a nice, soothing Shavasana position. Allow those toes to just roll open, your arms relaxing alongside your body, palms facing up. And dropping here into the back of your body, becoming heavier, then heavier, softer, and softer. Letting go of our ujjayi breathing. And just gently breathing in and out through the nose. Allowing the experience from this uplifting vinyasa to settle in.
and gently start to move your fingers and toes, maybe circulating the wrist and the ankles, swaying the head from side to side. Slowly waking up, stretching out through the body, arms up overhead, pointing forward through those toes, and then slowly turn over to the right side of your mat. And from the side, just gently press yourself back up. Coming back to a cross-legged position. Notice how you feel now at the end of your practice. And bring your hands in front of the heart space. And with a heart full of gratitude, we bow forward to close our practice. Namaste.